Hi all, I am Vinay Kumar. Welcome to the series of SKM32 F407 Driver Development. In the series of SKM32, today I will explain you uh, memory map of SKM32 F407 Discovery Board. Before going to discuss about memory map, first let's see what is the need of memory map. Here see, whenever you are going to program or whenever you are going to develop any driver, let's suppose if you are going to develop a GPIO driver, First, you should know what is the address of GPIO ports, okay? Then only you can write uh, the registers of GPIO. Whenever you want to develop a UART driver, before that, first you should know what is the memory address of UART peripheral. Then only you can uh, write the registers of UART peripheral and you can configure the registers according to your requirements. For that, first you should know uh, what is the memory map of SKM32 F407 board. Here, all the peripherals, see this GPIO and UART, SPI and uh, I2C, these are all our peripherals. All these peripherals are connected to the system bus. Remember, there is a system bus. All the peripherals are connected to that system bus. Whenever you want to access any peripheral or if you want to communicate with any peripheral, you have to access through the system bus only. Okay. That's why before going to write the uh, addresses of peripheral first you should know what is the address range of each system bus there are some buses in stm 30 f407 board first one is ahp one bus okay the maximum speed of ahp one bus is 168 mega yes don't worry i will explain you about these buses in my next slide and the second bus is ahb2 bus ahb2 bus and third one is ahb bus. Here all AHB buses have maximum speed of 168 mega edges. This is the maximum speed of our STM32 F407 board. And there are two more buses. Those are APB1 bus. The maximum speed of AP1, APB1 bus is 42 mega edges. And the next one is APB2 bus. The maximum speed of this bus is 84 mega edges. Here see AHB is nothing but advanced high performance bus. APB is nothing but advanced peripheral bus. Here, uh, the peripherals, all the peripherals are connected to the APB1 bus and APB2 bus, except GPIO ports. Here, see, the GPIO ports are connected to the AHB1 bus because uh, uh, sometimes we need to perform high speed operations through GPIO ports. That's why uh, the manufacturer connected GPIO ports through the uh, AHP1 high performance bus. Now let's see how the bus is organized in uh, STM32 F407 board. Okay, here I am going to memory bus architecture, memory map. Okay, not this one. For that, first we should open the data sheet of STM32 F407 board. I will give you the link of data sheet in the description. You can check it now. I'm going to the functional overview here. Here, see, this is the this is the bus of I mean the block diagram of STM32 F407. Here, observe there is one bus that is called AHB1 bus of 168 megahertz speed, and one more bus AHB2 bus of 168 megahertz speed, and here, see, one more bus is the that is AHB3. Here, these three buses are almost near to the processor core because at the processor code you know uh, you need much higher speed that's why these high performance buses are connected um, at the processor core and here observe this GPIO ports GPIO port A, GPIO port B, port C up to GPIO port I this nine GPIO ports are connected to the AHB1 bus okay and here see the same AHB1 bus is again split into two buses that is APB1 and APB2. Here observe the APB2 is a maximum speed is 84 megahertz. And here see the APB1 maximum speed is 42 megahertz. If you want to configure or if you want to use UART5, then first you should know what is the APB2 base address. Because this UART5 is connected to the APB2 I mean APB1 here, not 2, APB1 base address. Suppose if you want to use a SPI, SPI peripheral, then you should know 
APB to base address because phi is connected to the APB to base address. Okay, this is about the uh, different peripherals and how they are connected to the buses. Now I will explain you uh, actual memory map of every peripheral. For that, first we should open this sheet that is a reference manual of STM32 F407. Here, observe there is one field that is a memory and bus. Here, right here, go to memory map. Here, see the memory map of HB3 bus is from 0 cross A000 0000 to 0 cross A000 0 FFF. Okay, that means the memory space ranges from this memory address to this memory address for AHB3 bus. Now, let's move to the AHB2 bus. Here, see, if you want to access any peripheral connected to the AHB2 bus, then you should know, you should declare this memory address that is 0 cross 5000 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Okay, up to 0 cross 5006 0BFF. And from here to here, all the memory space, I mean the memory range comes under AHB2 bus. Okay, now go down AHB1 bus. This is very important bus for GPIO communication because all the GPIO ports are connected to this AHB1 bus. Here, see the base address of AHB1 bus is 0 cross 4002 0000 up to uh, here, see 0 cross 4007. FFFF. Here observe all the GPIO ports, those are GPIO A, GPIO B, GPIO C, all are connected to the AHB bus only. That's why before going to develop a driver for GPIO, first we should know the buses. Okay. And then similar to the APB2 bus and the APB1 bus also right here. Here see APB1 bus. Okay. This is the memory mapping of every peripheral and every bus of STM32 F407 board. If suppose, if I want to uh, write the driver for UART5, then first I should declare, I should define as a macro, uh, I should define this memory address as a macro. Okay, then only I can access all the registers, control registers or data registers or status registers of UART5. Okay, this is what the STM32 memory map in my next video, I will start coding GPIO driver. There I will declare all this uh, memory uh, mapping. I mean, I will declare all the APB1 address, APB2 address, HB1 address, HB2 address. And then I will declare uh, GPIO addresses from this memory. Okay. And that's about this class. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section. And also I will give you my mail ID, Instagram channel and Telegram channel in the description. You can directly ask any questions to me. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.